the courtroom in Decatur getting reaction and better understanding about a big decision made yesterday by the presiding judge over the Mac Marquette murder trial. The judge has made the temporary gag order permanent. We're hearing from attorneys about what this means going forward. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from outside the Madison County Courthouse. Daquan, today you talked with a local attorney about how this impacts the case moving forward. Now, Nolan, this permanent gag order officially puts a stop to anyone involved in this case from speaking out about it publicly. The attorney I spoke with today, Mark McDaniel, is not involved in this case, but he does have decades of experience. And he says this gag order will put in place to make sure that Mac Marquette has a fair trial. Now, Mac Marquette is the former Decatur officer charged with the murder of Steve Perkins during an overnight truck repossession in September of last year. District Attorney Scott Anderson filed a motion for this permanent gag order because body camera footage of the incident leaked to the public. Attorney Mark McDaniel says because this is a high profile case, this gag order will help ensure Marquette will have a fair trial as attorneys try to select the jury. The judge will ask a question. The first question asked, how many of you people have read, heard, or seen anything about this case? And probably 95 hands will go up. The five people don't go up, you really strike them because they're probably not telling the truth because everybody's already heard about this case. The issue then is can you be fair and impartial about this case? Now, this permanent gag order also prevents members of the Decatur Police Department and the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency from speaking out about any evidence to this case as well. And McDaniel also told me the last thing left for everybody involved in this case to do is get ready for their trial. Reporting live in Huntsville, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.